Hey guys, and welcome back to another video of Airstrap. Strap. And today we've got a review on the Mill Spec Taylor Tourniquet holder. So this will hold this tourniquet and a 40mm grenade. So if I get this picture up, as you can see, it holds it comfortably, comfortably, comfortably and it will also hold a tourniquet holder, which they are designed for. So that, first we're going to do like a quality check, um, the stitching, the colour, that sort of thing, and then go over the colours that it comes in, and then I'm going to show you, I'm going to put the tourniquet in the holder, and then we will go from there. So looking at the quality, as you can see, so I hold it up, it's official cry multicam, and if I'm honest, I really like this. This does retail for six pounds um, from Mill Spectator on Instagram or their Facebook page. If I get it up close, hopefully it focus. Yeah, as you can see around here, the stitching is nice all the way around. Which, if I'm honest, you want good stitching, this sort of thing. So obviously, it's going to be like stretched out with the tourniquet in. So obviously, the loops are like my Warrior Stalk Systems plate carrier, official cry multicam, and then this is official cry multicam. And you can't really see it, but you can just see the way it says multicam on this fabric. So this comes in, sorry guys, I've got to read it off my phone because uh, it comes in quite a lot of colours and I cannot remember. So this comes in, all black, black multicam, multicam, coyote brown, tropic and met grey. Um, and you can also um, add in a single band of red elastic so you can disquin, disquin, distinguish um, as a medical piece of kit, which I think is a nice feature, especially if you're using this for the real world because a um, person who runs this company makes these products does um well he is in the real military and they're mainly made for the real military because he does also make shooters belt um like flaps for like day sacks and many other products but obviously if you want to find out more buy one of these or any of his other products do go over to him on instagram and facebook so these are obviously six pounds each come in loads of different colors and now, while we're on camera, I'm going to show you how how to put this in. It's the way I do it. Um, so let me quickly show you on how this will go into your plate carrier. Well, the Molly. If I get my plate carrier and hold it up here, how this will work is, so you're going to push, how I've done it, um, which I find it sits nicely, is it will basically sit like that. So how I do is I fold up this, push it down, so that sits in the middle like that, and then push that into the bottom bit of mole like that, and then that bit up onto the top. So obviously it won't move and it will sit there like really comfortable and it won't move around at all basically. So now let's put the tourniquet in. Best way I find it is put it in sideways, I'll hold it. It's easier once it's actually on something to get the first one in and then I find pushing it all the way up so you've got one loop in and then turn it straight so that's how it should be sat and then I find get the bottom loop and literally just push it on as you can see and then if I push this up more and there we go and that will just sit comfortably like that with within your molly. Then let's say, oops, um, I need to get medicked in the airsoft field, or the Milsim field to be medicked. I can literally, or in the real world, pull it out like that. Comes out this, is going to stay within your plate carrier. And then once you've used it, you've been medicked, you've come back to respawn, whatever. It can just slide back in, well, you can push it back in. And there it is. So guys, thanks for watching. I'm S of Jack. I'll see you next time.